Hey guys, this is Matt with bleepandjeep.com and today I'm going to show you how to pull a C-clip style axle shaft. But first let me tell you a little about my website, bleepandjeep.com. There we've got t-shirts, we've got hats, we've got lots of cool videos, and we've got discount coupon codes for all the parts you could want. So check it out, bleepandjeep.com. Also do subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out the Facebook page as well. Alright, so there are two different kinds of axle shafts. One is a C-clip, one is a non-C-clip. You may be asking, well how do I tell which one I have? If you don't know, let me show you a little secret. Alright, so this tip is just for rear axle shafts. Uh, front ones are a little bit different. Um, most front axle shafts are going to be a non-C-clip, but there are some that do have a C-clip. But uh, on this rear axle shaft, this is a Dana 35 axle shaft right here and this is a Dana 44. Now you can see a difference and that is this hole right here. Now that hole means that this is a non C-clip axle shaft. Um, on this one, which is the C-clip, there is no hole because you don't have to get in there to unbolt the axle shaft. The axle shaft is held in in the differential by a C-clip. Now so to check that, all you're going to do is take your tire off, take your wheel off or whatever, and then pull your drum brake, see if you have a hole or if you don't have a hole. Now like I said, this one is held in by a C-clip in the differential, and this one here, which is the non-C-clip, is held in uh, with a backing plate that's bolted on behind here. And that's the reason for the hole, is so that you can turn the axle shaft and get a socket through there to unbolt the bolts. Now the bad thing about a C-clip axle shaft, um, it's similar to this except right here there's a little ring. You'll see that in a minute with a clip on it that holds it inside the differential. But if that breaks, say the axle shaft breaks right here, um, there's nothing else holding this in there besides that C-clip. So your entire wheel and tire and everything is just going to come right out of the vehicle. Uh, and that's a bad thing. C-clips are, are not good for off-roading uh, purposes. But uh, enough about that. Let's get in there and take this thing out. The first thing you'll want to do is take off your wheel and uh, then your drum brake so that you can see this part. And then we're going to move over here. Alright, so now we're in the differential. If you don't know how to get this far, check out my other video on how to change your differential fluid. Alright, so now we're in the differential. I'm going to put it in neutral and then we can rotate everything around so that we can get a clear view of it. Now, I don't know how well you can see that here, but uh, this is the interior of the axle shaft uh, coming through. So that axle shaft comes all the way through and it stops right there. And this version is the C-clip. So right there, inside that spider gear, is the C-clip. Now this is your ring and pinion gear, or this is your your ring gear, your pinion gears back here. This is the carrier housing. And these are your spider gears, and then that's the pin right there. Now, to get that C-clip out, we need to move the axle shaft in. Well, we're working on this side, but you can see this side, so we need to move it in anyway. And uh, to do that, we have to get this pin out. So before we can get that out, we have to rotate it up like this, and you can see that pin goes all the way through from top to bottom. And it's going to be held in in some way or another. Usually that's going to be a drift pin or something. In this case it's a little screw, some kind of a set screw. And this looks like a 12 point uh, that I'll need to find to be able to get that off. Now it looks like this uh, is going to be in the way right here, so I'm going to have to take that off, find something to pull that screw out. Once we do that, the pin will drop down. We'll be able to push, push the axle shaft over and pull the C-clip. It's kind of like one of those puzzles you used to get as a kid and uh, one of those little wooden puzzles or metal puzzles you got to figure out how all this goes together and goes apart. Alright, so if you have a drift pin what you'll need to do is get a punch and punch that drift pin out of there one way or the other. Now in my case the only thing I can find to fit that is this uh, quarter inch a uh, 12 point socket which fits on there perfectly but as you'll see I can't get the socket onto there without removing 
this piece right here. Now this holds the carrier in, it holds the race in, which holds the carrier in. So I need to take this off. Now this uh, is torqued to spec, so you need to make sure to put that back to torque spec when we get to that point. Also, when you take this off, you want to keep it orientated in that position. Uh, make sure that you don't uh, get that flipped upside down or something. So I'm going to take this off, and then I'll be able to get this off, then I'll be able to get this out, and then I'll be able to get uh, the, the, rod, the uh, axle shaft pushed in, and then I'll be able to get the C-clip off, and then we'll be able to move the axle shaft out. Sound good? All right. I'm just going to set that aside, keeping it in the same orientation. I'll just set it right up there. And now I should be able to get to this. Pull that little screw out. All right. There's that little screw that held the pin in. Now I'm just going to rotate this down. See if I can drop that out. Yep. Now I'm just going to rotate it down far enough to get that just like that. We don't need it to come out any farther. And uh, now everything's just kind of floating in there. I'll reach. Let me let me move the camera so you can see in there better. All right, it's hard to get the light and everything in here at once, but I'm going to do my best here. I've got that pen sticking out, like I mentioned. Now, all I have to do is reach over to the outside and push the axle shaft in. You can see that right there. Now, that red thing, that's the C-clip, and I'm just going to push on it with my finger, and it drops out. That's the C-clip right there, and that holds the axle shaft on. There it is again, and you can just rotate it freely and push it out. Now, if I reach out to the outside again, you can see I can pull that axle shaft all the way out. Alright, before I move back over there and show you that axle shaft come out, I'm going to put this pin back in. and. Just kind of see if I can get that set screw back in there. I'm just going to shove it in there like that. The reason being is because once I pull uh, both the axle shafts and if that pin is out, those spider gears will just fall right through and then you'll have a mess because there are shims on the back side of those and they have to be uh, set up just right. So don't let those spider gears fall out on you. Alright, now we can carefully pull that axle shaft straight out. there it is. Now let me show you what I was talking about right there. As you can see that's the uh, C-clip axle shaft right there. As I mentioned that C-clip holds the whole thing in. Here's the non-C-clip axle shaft uh, which is bolted in from the other side. Now we'll come over here and slide the axle shaft back in. All right, now let's reinstall that axle shaft. First, I'm going to take that screw out. There we go. Now I'm going to push that pin down and let it slide out. Now I'm going to slide that axle shaft back in. I'll put the uh, C-clip on there slides in place. Come on. There we go. Now I'll slide the axle shaft back out to the edge. Put the pin back up through. Make sure that you get that hole orientated in the right direction. Alright, now for this little bolt, make sure you clean it off real good and use Loctite. I'm not sure of the torque specs on this thing, but it's pretty small. Uh, I'm just going to use the good and tight method. You don't want to tighten it too much, though, or you're going to strip that thing off in there. Whoa. <sighs> By the way, I looked up the name of that bolt. It's called a pinion shaft retaining bolt, just FYI.
All right, now it's time to put the bearing caps back on, or the bearing cap back on. And I put some uh, Loctite on there as well. And the torque spec for this is 80 foot-pounds. Now, yours is going to be different, so it's your job to look that information up. But on the Dana 35 uh, C-clip rear axle for the XJ, it's 80 foot-pounds. Alright guys, so that's how you remove and reinstall a C-clip style axle shaft. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the website, bleepinjeep.com. We have all kinds of Jeep apparel. We've got, uh, what else do we have? We've got discount codes and coupons for all your off-road related parts and all kinds of other stuff too, not just off-road stuff. And don't forget to subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel and check out the Facebook page. We'll see you next time. Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.